Todd's not there. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, hello. How's it going, folks? Welcome to the Pod Patrol. Except Pod's stunning in the other room because, you know, it's a nice sunny day. Uh, yeah, basically for... <laughs> Unfortunately, I think for the majority of the spring slash summer, there is a very nice sunny spot in the living room that he likes to be at. Um, I would try to make it in here, but I, well, here, I'll show you what I do instead. Gotta, I gotta have Eddard Rob. I gotta have the sun for Eddard Rob, you know? It's Edward Rob's got to live forever. For a pod will be here sometime. Probably, maybe, definitely. Probably. Yeah, that's the only way to have it. You know, you got to get it warmed up. I'll do drink Pepsi. <laughs> Guys, wanting cold Pepsi. <laughs> cold Pepsi. Who ever heard of such a thing? Oh gosh, that's that's funny. Uh, thank you for the lap cuff. Yeah, I think so. I mean, seriously, I could start a poll any day, anywhere. I will say, sunbaked Pepsi or ice cold Pepsi, and <laughs> we'll know how that turns out. We both do, so yeah. <laughs> How's uh, everyone's Saturday going so far? Hopefully pretty good so far. And I am, as always, Super concerned because I have the music up pretty loud and it's like almost as loud as my mic, but I'm like going like, uh, uh. well, you are an owl. You are at least part owl, part wolf, cross wolf. So it makes sense that you woke up at night. It's almost probably your bedtime. So... But yeah, um, today was much better than yesterday. <laughs> well, I should say the end of yesterday was really good, and then today was also really good. Um, you went to bed at 11 a.m.? Okay, well, you just keep owling it up. I don't know what to say then. <laughs> um, yeah, today I uh, did a lot of uh, uh, writing up the campaign notes for the game I'm doing with uh, Iket and Felon and crew. Uh, and I'm getting ready for their next adventure, which is, uh, if anyone is familiar with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it is called The Halloween's Heist. If you're not familiar with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, they're just going to rob some stuff. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, feel free to buzz Felon about it. She might, uh, she might say, oh, it's an okay game. It's like, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Okay, I have to be better. I have to get ready for my competition with Sphinx starting Monday. We cannot be mean about ourselves for a week. I have to win this because I don't want to read compliments all stream. So, that's going to be her. <laughs> I don't know if you're following that in the Discord, uh, Cuthbolt, but yeah, me and Sphinx have a thing going. Yep. It, it was from, I think, we started talking about it on Thursday, I think. Wednesday or Thursday, I forget. But, I mean... It's solid to me. I don't know if she thinks I'm not serious. I'm totally serious about this. So she she better step up her game. Her complimentary game. 
You better step it up. For real. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I'm glad you think it's an excellent idea. I think it's horrible for both me and her because it's going to make us insane or crazy or rage or all of them, all three. So we'll find out. <laughs> You'll keep her true to it. Okay. All right. Good luck. I'm, I'm, I hope she doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, backlash at you too much. Anyways, um, yeah. So basically, just did that. Then I played a little bit of the this game, Savior of uh, Saviors on Sapphire Wings. I think it kind of reminds me a little bit of a campaign I did a long time ago, where basically uh, the players were going to have this floating city where they could go to different spots to kind of adventure in. But instead, the very first session, they wrecked the island. And they spent the entire game fixing the island instead of using it as it should have. So that was fun. That was a, you know, that that wasn't like 40 pages of notes just wasted, you know, in the very first session. That, no, 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 no. <laughs> You'll live. It's been a weird week, I think. Yes, indeed. It has been a very weird, distressing week. But uh, yeah, now I am here. I am feeling good, um, and uh, we are about to hopefully finish Curse of the Azure Bonds. Um, so to kind of go into that, let's go ahead and switch over to our gold box area. A bing, a boom. So we are at the final area of the game, Myth Drenor. Um We are trying to find Terran Thraxis, who. Surprise is the arch villain again. Um, so we're trying to track him down in these ruins. And uh, I remember just being super tired and sleepy uh, last stream, I think, at the end of it. So I didn't really get too far. Or I forget what was happening. And I had to end like before I could get to. Um, but yeah, we just entered in and we are trying to figure stuff out. I just also need to make sure there's nothing more. I think I did read the entire. Yeah, we've read the entirety of the backstory for our adventures and curse. So now it's going to be just straight on to the final boss because we've taken out the uh, the dragon guy on top of his tower uh, when he tried to kill us with a bunch of black dragons. Um, and then we took out the fire knives we tried to just immediately kill us. We took out the um, uh, the plant god and his cult that tried to sacrifice us. And then we took out um, the uh, Zentarium boss and some beholders. And as a special bonus last stream, we took out, I think it was 20 beholders, 20 dark elf like elites, and then a whole bunch of bad clerics and whatever. So that was really fun. And Rakshashas took out 15 of those. So yeah, that was a crazy fight. Um, but uh, hey, Trader Legions, how's it going? Um, yes, this should be the final boss stream. I hope. So yeah, heck Rakshashas. And I just, I, because I was playing this game when I was a very young kid and like this tall, something like that, and I had some speech impediments, I would always call them Rakshashas. Or Rakshasha. Rakshashas, I think. Lazy Sunday. Trader, are you in the future? I want to be in the future. A red web. Uh, stretches across the passage, glowing dully. What do you do? Well, uh, hack it. As you strike, the glow fades from the webs, revealing several wire snares as well. In the distance, you hear cursing, then running feet. Some spiders investigate the noise. Oh, dear. Well, uh, let's take care of these. I don't know. It's a day. It is a day. That is true. Let's just put it that way. And fighters 
which will do an insta-kit and kill us, are no bueno. So let's go ahead and use our bows to take care of that. Wow, they are all really wanting to get Presto. All right, cool. Got the spiders. Because yeah, in second edition, poison is a one hit kill. Um, and actually, let me it. I'm trying to figure out a way to make the the chat here better. You know what that'll do. Still stand by the Kansas and Arkansas being pronounced like Kansas is in the state. So, Art Kansas? I'm sure the people of Art Kansas will totally agree with that. Hey, Benez256, it's going pretty good. Um, Actually, I need to do some shout outs. Hold on, uno momentos. Um, so we got Presto. We got... Uh, Benez. What is that game? That looks like a very interesting game. And you're very welcome, Benez. Unfortunately, I don't like some people have the clips that just go on for like 10 seconds, but like I don't mind the clips going a little bit longer because sometimes it, it takes a little bit of setup to get to the purpose of the clip. Well, I'm going to do a shout out for uh, two other people as well. We're not here, but uh Oh, Coves and his crazy nonsensing Dark Soulsing. And Giggling Geekette uh, helped make a lot of the kind of designs and uh, interface and layout that you see on the stream, uh, as well as being an awesome mini painter and stuff like that. So, definitely worth a, a check out. And Presto does a lot of old school games. Um, I don't know if you have any clips, Benez. If you don't, then uh, you should definitely try to get some. Ike is loving kindness, can confirm. Yeah, I've known her for about 20 something years. But yes, Cut the Wolf, please, shout out. All right, well, next time I'm around and about. I'm sorry that I have black blocked out shoutouts for myself so there are no clips that can get played whenever you try to shout me out. I did make sure to go in and block that. You can do that all day long but sorry. I knew people would try to do that because they want to be nice to me for some weird reason. I don't have to be nice to me until Monday, Cuthwolf. So booyah. Booyah. Also, got off the Cuth Wolf. Because Cuth Wolf is an amazing streamer as well. And uh, I hear they're going to make a comeback uh, pretty soon in a very big way. So definitely shoot them a follow. All right, so we defeated some spiders. Let's see what else there is to see slash do. You see a group of knights. A uh, parlay. Oh, we have reports of you being he, him. Okay, I always lean on the side of caution because I've I've talked with so many people and I unfortunately forget pronouns a lot, so I just stick with the 
you know, standard they. But he, him, Cuthwolf, he, him, got it. Uh, so I, unfortunately, it breezed past the first part of their thing, something about us being in Tilverton. But because we have removed all of our uh, bonds at this point, and we've also uh, haven't acted in any like evil ways during the game, they now are on our side. Your cause is just. When you're in the, the temple, we'll cause a diversion to draw some troops. Good luck. Yes, definitely give each other a follow. All the people I've shouted out. And if I miss shouting anyone out, please let me know. Uh, that's totally fair. I won't be upset if you heard me as they, if that's easier. Ah, uh, I will I will do my best to uh, address people by their preferred pronoun. Because, you know, even they, them, I mean, he, him, he, her, they're all valid. Um, I mean, Nish, Presto is Nish still. He's not rig levels of popularity, but once he gets once he gets the shout outs and enough people go like, oh my gosh, Presto's amazing. Like seriously, I'll be able to go like, hey, look at my first sub badge. I got that first badge. I knew him back when. I knew Presto back when. When he was this big of a streamer instead of this big of a streamer. <laughs> All right, let's go through this door and see what we can see. I don't want to go through the graveyards if possible. Insects watch you. Parlay. A Thry Crean steps forward asking, who's your master? Okay. Because I think these are bad guys. We have no quarrel with him. And they leave. Good. I knew him before it was mainstream. Yep. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, presto. Thank you for the doggo treats. I will make sure to give odd extra treats uh, when he wakes up. As you enter, spiders come out of the solid walls. Oh, because they're phase spiders, never mind. I was about to say, but how? But. All right, let's use a wand of fireballs. Because spiders are no joke. In game life or, you know, fake life. Oh my goodness. Xenorex, I'm a simple person. I see gold box. I watch. Thank you so much for the doggo treats. Odd will be very happy to get so many today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and yeah, I my uh, I am planning on going through all, well, not all the gold boxes, but I am going to go through at least um, the pools. And then... Uh, What's the other one? Uh, Kryn, at the very least. I'm still debating about the Savage Frontier. Um, just, I don't want the gold box thing to get old on people, but I'll probably, once I go through the pool series, I am going to take a little bit of break, do some other games I've been wanting to stream. Um, hopefully I'll have a capture card by then and show up a couple of uh, Switch games I've been wanting to do. I'll probably redo John Wick uh, because I've been playing that a little bit and doing that in real time instead of like, studying the moves and everything like that because uh yeah i really like the john wick uh video game so uh yeah doing that and then other other side which is kind of like a dark grim tactics kind of game um where you have to sacrifice your units in order to basically proceed through the game so yeah but yeah, I am going to at least go through all the pools games because, I mean, I love Gold Box and honestly, I have another party that is going. Uh, that's just kind of a challenge run for me. Um, oh, tell us a story about Cooves. Uh, Cooves, the player character's background story. Okay. All right. 
can do. Uh, let me finish this fight real quick. And then I will definitely tell a tale. Fireball! Big bada boom. Yeah. Dang it. All right, well, that's, I guess that's, uh, that's that. I mean, if Presto dies, might as well just quit the game. Might as well just quit the game. <laughs> Presto killed one shot kill. Oh, like I said, spiders are no joke. All right, and I probably should have saved it before then. Oh, well. That's fine. But anyway, so the story of Cooves. So before Cooves came across this party of rather heroic adventurers, he was kind of a, uh, he was a little bit of a berserker, berserker boy. Uh, he would pick fights and basically do anything he could to kind of make a little money here, make a little money here, there. Oh, parlay. We've heard reports of you in uh, Tilverton. Okay, cool. Cool, oh, cool. Uh, yes. Erinthrax? No quarrel. Thank you, thank you. Um, and basically, uh, that would help him. Erinthrax? No quarrel. Thank you, thank you. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Parlay, Aaron, Braxis. All right, getting a little bit distracted. Uh, so basically, the uh, the life of the. Uh, berserker slash kind of thieving and all that ways, uh, they kind of caught up with him. And, ah, Tyranthraxis. Uh, and unfortunately, he was jailed in Flan for starting one too many fights and basically profiting off of them as he kind of pickpocketed them and stuff like that and tail bonded ones. Uh, Parlay. Oh, figure breaks into rapid speech that you record in Journal Entry 56. Hurry on, hurry, hurry. All right, hold on, slow your horses there. 56. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of it. Man says, ask me not my name, for names are but labels men apply to the which they do not understand. I know of your bonds and of your struggle to free yourself, for I helped create the first bonds which seems so long, long ago. Your last bond, that of uh, Tyranthraxis, the flame one, is most dangerous. Whether or not you know it, you're closer to internal slavery now than ever. Your Tyranthraxis no longer needs to share his power over you with others. He can turn his full fury to making sure that you never escape him. Your only hope is to catch the flame one by surprise and deal with him before you can evoke the power of your bonds. All right, great. Um, but uh, basically, he was arrested and... They gave him a choice. Either he could uh, join a, a local group that was kind of starting out to, uh, to try to save Flan and other places, or he could just basically rot in jail. And uh, so, yeah, he said, sure, I'll, I'll join this group. And that group was a bunch of idiots. They went immediately into the slums, got killed in their first fight. Uh, so obviously he ran because he's no idiot. He is no fool. And he suffers. No fool. So, threatened to go back to jail. He's like, okay, okay, fine, fine. Put me with a better group. So this second group also failed. Also all died, except for him. And they said, okay, are you trying to kill people? Because it seems like you're trying to kill people. Like, no, no, no. I didn't rob their bodies. They were they came that way. They were already dead. And they said, one more chance. One more chance, Coovs. 
or you're never seeing the light of day. And this time he ran away from them and was about to get on a boat when Pool came up and was like, oh, you must be the person that we were supposed to meet. And the guards who were chasing after him, uh, he noticed them and he said, yes, I am the person you are going to meet. And the rest is history. And there you go. Okus has no friends. Like this group, he's only with them so he doesn't go back to jail. And that is the story of Coops. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, when the ranged character runs ahead of everybody else to shoot things in melee. Classic! Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Presto. The It's, uh... I definitely did not mean for uh, Presto to get one-shotted. Insects watch you. We flee. Obviously, we are not faster than them. Um, well, let's do Thinking Cloud. Oh, God. Uh, okay, well, obviously not casting it. Yeah, we're gonna... Uh, can you cast... Yeah, you can cast Stinking Cloud, though, in a really good spot. Right there. Yes. Choke. Choke on it! Choke on it. And let's go ahead and fire at... Oh, whoops. Wait a second. Oh. Okay, because they're already gone, I guess. And you're done. All right. So we'll just do that. Hey, Tiger Lizzie, how's it going? Uh, let's guard. And then with you, we'll equip the longbow and doing a quick shout out to the Tigerist of Lizzie's. That's hilarious. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love it. that uh, yes I do believe that is the forest insects prepare and we parlay oh um okay so caveat most people who have followed this stream for a while know this already but I do have a the bad issue with memory. Did I finish the story with Coos? I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going up. Insects watch you. We flee. Okay, we can't. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Well, let's see. Do I have a wand of lightning? Yes, I do. All right. Let's say hello. Whoops, no. Not that close. All right, let's say hello to our little friends. Bada bang. Oh, 
my gosh, they all want Presto. They all want a piece of Presto's mighty, mighty rangers. Listen, listen, Presto, it's not me. It's not you. It's just very bad luck. Very, very bad luck. I'm sorry. You have a negative six armor class. They are literally critting you in order for them to hit you. That's the only way they can hit you, basically. Yeah, Presto. With your negative six AC, <laughs> you have a bow. Fine, fine, all right. I thought you wanted to be the big, big guy doing that stuff, all right. Oh, uh, you do have to unequip your shield, so that does mean your armor class drops significantly. All right, we will we will fix the order. You back. All right, is that better? Is that better, Presto? Are you is this a happy medium? Thacko. Yes, Thacko's the best. That's how I learned math is through Thacko. Insects watch you. Well, Terran Thraxis. I wish it would just auto do that, but Oh, whoops. Uh, let me actually... Sorry, I messed up. Go. All right, cool. The Thrycreen have a bib... The Thrycreen have bibobacked here. They prepared to make a stand. All right, well... Have at thee. Have at thee. Hey, Jutonis, how's it going? Give. Jutonis a shout out there. Bada bing, bada boosh. All right. Yeah, 68k is a bit more complicated than 6 levels. I actually might say no. It seems like. That, that was no buenos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you'll you'll stand back there with the with the other bow folks. It's never too early. How are you avoiding the shots? Do Thrive Green have a special missile avoidance in second edition that I don't know about? I feel like so. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, Presto. You're gonna, you're gonna need to go into melee. I'm sorry. Ah, especially because they're coming, coming up the ranks. You didn't yet start the Silver Blades. Um, yeah, Silver Blades is the one after this. Um, and Cuthwolf, you, uh, oh, you got the 50 followers, True Tonys? Way to go, awesome. That's awesome. Next step, affiliate. In Brazil, normal dinner time is between seven to 10. Ah, okay. So listen, Cuthwolf, I'm going to have dinner at about 11 p.m. Probably, maybe, sort of. So you do you. Back. A dinner date? Mayhaps? Everyone else is gone. Okay. Oh, you already signed up for affiliate? Need to set all that stuff up? Awesome! That's great. That's 
Wow, when did you start that? Because I feel like that's incredibly fast, which is a good thing. Yep, the good old Kooves 1-2 combo. Oh no. I did not realize he could paralyze people. Okay. Wow, that could have been super bad. Holy moly. Sure. Other three cream respond to the noise. Oh no. Uh well. You know what? We're not going to let this happen again. Thanks. I think it was uh, my first stream was mid-January, so kind of quick. Yeah. But it's felt easy and enjoyable because of all the great people and support. Yeah. Yep. The, uh, the retro community has been super amazing. 100% for sure. One down. Let's use some wands and magic missile. Let's see if we can take this one out. All right, just use the wands and magic missiles since we can't directly missile them. Good thing uh, Koobs is very resistant to uh, paralyzation. Nope, we're good. We don't need any more money. A few more straggle in. Holy moly. Yeah, I mine was actually pretty fast because I just, I fortunately had a lot of people in, um, in a uh, from the common space community that kind of followed me over to this twitch channel so it only took me like a month but i know like normally it does take a lot longer than that for sure charge wait no who's gonna wait yeah we'll go first Go ahead and just start spamming our magic missile wands. That was close. Uh, we don't need to do that. We can just use the wand of magic missiles. Peak zealing was really fast. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's use that wand of magic missile. I knew I knew who you meant, <laughs> but I guess yeah, other people might not have. Backstab all that damage. All right, I guess we'll do that. We'll just stick with the Wand of Magic Missiles for now, because these guys can paralyze. I think I got almost all my followers with help of uh, Dr. CDCS and Mike. Yep. 
They are both amazing streamers, 100%. Hey, I'm a little teapot. Let's, as folks are coming in, I'm giving them a shout out. Gabriel Knight, wonderful, wonderful Knight. game. You're arfing. Mm-hmm. What can you what can you tell me about voodoo? The voodoo that you do that you do so well. I can't I can't even come close to uh to uh Curry's accent. That's just amazing, in my opinion. And there's just one left. We'll just we'll just let it die naturally in a matter of spin in a manner of speaking. Alright. Nope, we don't need any more gems. And we get valuables. We don't need any money. What items do you have? Ooh, a longsword. That is good enough to take. Nope. Parlay. Obviously, they haven't heard of the massacre of their base yet. Otherwise, they would not be talking so peaceably with us. That's fine with me. I'm just basically filling out the rest of the map here for the auto mapping. The Thry Queen is executing a grave here. At your approach, it turns and attacks. Oh dear. You didn't mention spiders. It started good, it's been good so far. Got the results from COVID tests and negative. Oh gosh. Woo! Yeah. That's good. I'm hopefully got a vaccine scheduled for Monday. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Alright, uh no, we don't wanna get you know what? Actually, let's see. Cross some fingers that Coos doesn't get hit. Oh, wow. Max damage all around. Good job. Hey, Bargain Bin. How you doing? All right. Let's use some magic missiles. Let's see. Yeah, let's try to take out that one. Good, good. And then... Yeah, I have one hit point left. All right. Oh, you poor silly Thrykrain fool. Woo, that was close. Another fight without poison, getting everyone poisoned. Uh, uh, Bargain Bim, I'm using the Gold Box Companion, which has enhanced, like, musical things. Uh, the Amiga games actually did come with, not orchestral like this, but it did come with very good music, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It did not come with music. It came with, like, three or four second bits, uh, either before a fight or after a fight or during a cutscene or something like that. Um, nope. You see a partially excavated uh, elf skeleton. Jewelry glitters on its wrist. What do you do? He was like, grab, 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 and pulls like, no. The right thing to do in this ruin of Mithran art, we steal. No coups, not everything is for stealing. You're really not making sense. And Sam's like, I'm just burying this. <laughs> Do you win music and you lose music? Yep, pretty much. And Coob scrumbles, but the jewelry. Why Why didn't we get the jewelry? Well, the reason why didn't we didn't get the jewelry as Fool pulls out 131 pieces of jewelry. Did you really need one or two more? And Coob's like, obviously. I gotta collect them all. 
Gotta get them all, Jirly. Oops. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Now, this is the place that killed Presto, so revenge. You know what? Oh, you don't have it. Boom. I was going to say fireball, but I think we used that up earlier, so... Uh, we will go ahead and do longbows. Surely it won't happen again. Surely. Hey, spiders. I don't want to get way too far up in the middle of that nonsense. But we'll just guard here. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and actually... Do you have any fireballs to cast? No. Okay, we'll go ahead and use the wand of fireballs. Did the blood one, it was okay. Didn't even feel it. The one with the stick may vary. Uh, yeah, I've done the nose one. Oh boy, does it feel like someone's trying to hit your brain. And so normally phase fighters, after they finish their turns or... Basically, if they have a chance of, or I forget in actual second edition rules, but in the game, after they take their turn, they are untargetable. And a very easy way to tell if they have or have not blinked yet is by using the aim command. And if it, they are not able to be selected like this, and they're obviously in my line of sight. Um, then they've already blinked out for the turn, so unless I cast an area effect spell, I can't affect them. So I can only get this guy right now. Oh, one hit point away. All right. Do you have a wand of fireballs by chance? No. All right. But it is the beginning of the turn. So... Let's see. Let's go one. It will be a jab well done. E pat. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thanks. I'm good. Let's see. That was already gone. Not gone. Ah, missed. All oh, right, because they had already phased. I need to do better at tracking them. For our melee fighters. All right, so. Uh, actually, yeah, let's use. Oh, nah. We'll save the wand of magic missiles in case we come up against more Thrycreen. That is quite okay. I grew up with a dad who is very untacular. Um, in Princeton, he actually won the uh, um, kind of uh, the best punter or whatever. I forget the exact name of the contest or whatever, but yeah. So that was my childhood. <laughs> All right, got revenge for last time. All you suckers went down. Fighters have gathered a pile of bones here and defend it. All right, well. Let's go ahead and use that wand of fireballs to start things off. A similar reward in your college days. What am I doing? You don't need to go back up there. Alright. Very nice. Can we kill this before? 
before it blinks out. Nice. At least they're all attacking. Mama. And very nice. Whoops. Let's get you back. Uh, they're not going to move, but yeah. Just, uh, just back out of the relative blast radius because they are too dumb to exit out of melee with someone they're already engaged with. Close. Dead? Dead. All right. Sweet job, everybody. GG. Um, what do you do with the bones? Dude, replace them. Sorry, you have two holy kind of lawful good people versus one rogue and then three kind of ambivalent people. Sorry, you're going to get outruled when it comes to this kind of situation. Oops. Don't worry, there's plenty of stuff to loot in the next game. I mean, uh, you know, in the future. Glowing spiders skittered forward at your approach. Glowing spiders. Oh, just face swipe. Woo! Don't scare me, thinking there's a new type of spider that's about to come out at us. All right. I hate that I'm using the wand so much, but I definitely would much rather not take the risk of uh, single deathing it. All right. You don't need to go forward. Close to death. Woo! Good thing Sama passed her uh, poison save. So. You do, it's not that it, if you get hit, you're instantly dead. It's just if you fail your uh, poison save. Oh, we're out of uh, we're out of fireball wand. So, oh well, that's okay. It did us good. Uh, can we kill it? Nice. Well, we probably won't kill that though. All right, cool. All right. All right, so we finished that area up. Now we're back outside. You spot a lone red plume. Approaches in a friendly manner. Yeah, gesture. Um, the red plume tells you his tale and you record it in journal entry 33. Well, what does journal entry 33 say? In Kamir, my ancestors lived and died here in Yathranor. I've been plagued recently by evil dreams of my grandfather's tomb being turned into a nest for foul spider things. You will help me lay his spirit to rest. I will give you this bow, which he made. He shows you an expertly crafted bow which radiates powerful magic. Uh, sure, let's help. Follow me. A whispery voice calls out, Beware! A trap! The red bloom snarls and cuts off the voice with a gesture. Do you continue? No. Oh. Uh, what were you trying to do? Lead us into a trap? No, thank you. I mean, I am going to go. Within an unearthed grave are glowing spiders who swarm out to protect their eggs. Oh boy. Well, here we go. Um, let's, we'll go ahead and do a lightning bolt. Oh, and you, oh gosh. Okay, uh, uh, let's, uh, what do we got? Thinking cloud? All right, let's do it right here. Um, 
Um, what do you have? You have hold monster, and uh, yeah. Go ahead and get that done. All right, let's target it. Blast off. Oh, very nice. Oh no, most of them are already gone. Oh well. Well. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Well, that was no buenos. Let's do a magic missile. Do a bunch of damage to that one. And then hopefully take that out. And then hopefully take this out. And we'll take that one out. And unfortunately, I just realized we kind of blocked ourselves off from that guy. Alright. Going the long way home. Going the long way. from you, punk. Yeah, punk. And... Alright, well, now I can't do anything, but that's okay. Woo! Well, we got a longbow with some arrows. We'll go ahead and let you take that. Uh, of course, we reburied the skeleton. I mean, come on. All right, uh, be away from the PC, but leave it lurking. Uh, thank you very much, Presto. Uh, take care, and you get a good, uh, have a good evening and the like. I'm gonna get uh, one more quick drink myself, a little bit more caffeination, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Thank you for the conquering. By the way, Cuthwolf, you're still here. I don't know. Dang it. I forgot to put like a stream marker or something to uh, try to show Coobs, um the story thing that we did. But uh, if you can remind me after stream, like send me a message or something like that, if I can look it up post stream. Uh, yeah, I'd love to just show. Uh... All right, turn back. Um. Uh, I'd love to show it to him. Hey, hey Coops, how you doing? Because, of course, it's his character, you know, and I want to make sure I did uh, good by his, uh, you know. Uh... Oh, near the entrance to this building is a crushed thry cream, and the doorway is a ghostly shape. You want to enter the building? No, thank you. I'm... I'm actually going to back up and let's go. Yes, we'll head heading towards the wilderness. Um, we are going to go and actually just go back to Zembra real quick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba. And enter the city because I, I definitely want to rememorize stuff. And also, um,. Uh, let's just, yeah, we'll, that, that should be enough. Sure. Two item. Longsword plus one, we do not, yeah, we're all rocking better than that. 
Um, so what about this longbow? Longbow plus three. What about these arrows? Arrows plus three. Holy moly. Okay, well... All right. Um, that's probably going to go to... Let's give the longbow plus three to Presto. Along with those arrows. Because, yeah, he's... He is... Uh, now that I know that he wants to do a lot more missling, he is going to be doing this crazy stuff. All right. And then we'll take the gems and the jewelry. We'll leave the uh, actual platinum. Well, actually, let me see. Is there anything that anyone else is just randomly carrying? Uh, I don't thinks uh -huh. yeah I think yeah you're carrying that long sword just in case you want to check out and yeah I think otherwise we're all good um I'll trade those to presto though Got. Yeah. Go ahead and give. Using them a lot more than you. All right. And no. All right. And then the N. Let's get spells memorized. Which unfortunately, I'm gonna need to see what I've cast. So, okay. I think we have another prayer at third level and then at fifth level just do do criticals i know we have a protection from evil we'll memorize one neutralized poison just in case and then we'll need to see what spells you we need to detect magic some fireballs Whoops. All right, so you'll need the detect magic for the druid. Wait a second. Need mirror image. Do you have mirror image? Mirror image and thinking cloud. Then we'll do a we'll do a fireball lightning bolt so then level a uh, fire sheet And then uh, hold monsters and hold monsters. Um, you, you, you got. Whoops. And dinner's cooking. What is for Dindin? If I can ask. All right, so we'll do another shield, more magic missile, then a whole bunch of those, and fur balls, then do, oh wait, no, I think you need that. Not will, and then just hold monster. All right, um, so for you, you need, okay, so magic missiles, thinking clouds, uh, lightning bolt, a, a confusion, and then, 
Hey, big game pizza. Lurk for a while for dinner. All right, well, we're gonna shout you out while you're lurking. Boom. <laughs> oh my goodness you all are such an amazing group thank you for chilling with me while i'm uh trying to beat this game all right so we journey back the standing stone the trails we journey on to myth draenor through the wilderness and then we enter it's to the north all oh, right okay yeah, I forgot about that part. All right, so we save here. And I'm going to do one quick thing. What's this path they were talking about? The ruin. Oh, yeah. let's let's not go that way. Excavating a grave here. Did I reset everything? No, I might have reset everything. This is not good. Oh, 60 points of damage, Coos. You take it. You take that son of a gun out. Oh, gosh. Presto is going to be a murderer with this longbow plus three now. Because in uh, second edition, the uh, modifier on the bow also counted for the uh, damage. So, yeah. Oh no, not Coops! No! Actually, yeah. let's do the thing that we do. Can't just, we can't reset if it's just Presto that dies. We have to make it fair for everybody. Ah. <sighs> He's Louise. All right. Let's make it happen with. Oop. That's why. Boom. Again. Bring it back up, folks. Go. All right, here we go. Uh, so going to the north, to this area here that initially turned us away. I was very scared because, you know, we've been out of sorts. Uh, yes, we do. Spirit speaks, welcome warriors. Enter and meet our queen. Two suits of armor flank the stairway, raiding in faint magic. One speaks, the queen will see you. Um, we go upstairs. The armor seems to bow as you pass. As you approach the stairs, a voice cries out, The court gives greetings! A spirit appears before you. My heart rejoices to have such defenders. These items may help your quest. Uh, we don't need the money, but what items are you talking about? Ooh hoo hoo! Yes, yes, these items most certainly will help our quest. Yes. No, we're good. Alas, my time is short here. My best wishes. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Um. So. Um, I guess we're going to go back to town and uh, re-identify all that stuff. I apologize, folks. Webs festooned this mausoleum. Webs are inhabited. All right. Well, if we are going to go ahead and go back, then might as well go out with a bang. Like this. Benez, the bed calls me. Uh, thanks a lot for the company and the kindness. You're very welcome, Benez. Thank you for uh, hanging out here, and I hope to see you either on one of your streams or uh, 
we're back here. I'll be going. I'll be doing this again tomorrow at about the same time-ish. So yeah. Fireball! Big bada booms. Take care and good night. You see a funnel of webs. A whispery voice calls out. Spiders were guard their nests fiercely. Do you continue? Yes. We are going to flame these spiders out. Only four. Well, in that case, I'm going to cast Stink Cloud. one arrows on these guys and we'll get our spells back whenever we go to camp anyways back. I apologize for the back and forthness. Go and get everything re-memorized real quick. Missile and furball. Magic missile on your end. Magic missile. Uh, a stink cloud and furball. I think that was it, right? Yep. All right, cool. All right. So let's go door. Pull. Take two pieces. Three. It should be. Oh, yeah. There we go. Whoops. And. Bama, identify all this great stuff. Oh, yes. 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 Light crossbow. Plus five. Plus five. <laughs> uh, when's the last time any of you all have seen a plus five weapon of anything? Much less at like eighth or ninth level. Old school D&D, &D, folks. A ring of invisibility. Koof says yoink. Ring protection plus two. That only works if you're not wearing armor all I think they are the only two that, and Coobs is not wearing it. And he's got a ring of protection plus three anyways. So yeah, all right. Well, well, Coobs is now basically invisible and uh, backstab ping. Uh, all right, you'll take that. So you'll sell your plus one staff slant. Um, ring of protection plus two. Let's see, so first the light crossbow will go to cool because it's a blessed holy weapon and you know, I, I don't ask for, I mean, he, I am, I am silly. Um, let's see, let's see, Vera, do you have any rings of protection? Plus two, yourself. What about Aratus? Aratus has a ring of protection plus two. We just cannot use this, I don't think. I don't think anyone else can use it because if you're wearing magical armor, it does not stack. Nope. We're just selling a ring of protection plus two because it's junk to us. Oh boy. Oh boy. The second edition times. Anyways. Yeah, that's good. 
All right, let's take the gems and the jewelry, and you can keep the uh, platinum, good sir. Like, he was like, excuse me, you've left some money here? Uh, money that could start a small kingdom? And we're like, eh, pocket change. <laughs> 2,000 platinum, which is 10,000 gold pieces. That storekeep is just basically like, all right, we're done here. We're done. Bye. Oh my god. Anyways. And journey. Standing stone. Journey to Myth Draenor. And then enter this. Money, 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 money. Money. Strong priority. Money's not that wrong, though. Given wrong priority a shout out. How's it going? Good, sir, with the floating head. I caught a little bit of that poker the other night, and I was like, man, if only I was playing for real money. <laughs> this uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, I'm just so impressed with how, you know, the floating head thing. That just, that just makes my evening every time I kind of, uh, get the, the, the lurk on it. One day, I will also be a floating head. All right. The Ruins of Myth Drenor. So this should be, I think, about the final area. Oh! A uh, rush, hush, 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 with matted fur and a dour expression comes around the corner. He makes a gesture of peace. Hold on, hold. Let me finish this. Hold. One last. Oh, one, one last pack. Sorry, I have like five more of these. One last one. All right, so we wait. Rash rushes up for buys. I'm Tertia. He goes on to tell his tale in journal entry number five. We, Rash Ashisha, are fond of gambling. I've been having a streak of bad luck and gone through most of my possessions. Recently, I discovered that Bershia. I've been cheating in those games. However, the clan lord will not act without proof. Urshia guards this clan storehouse, and I know that the evidence is there. If you help me break in, you may select whatever you want from the storehouse. I just need the proof of Urshia's cheating. Sure, why not? Then come with me into my little tra- I mean, to the storehouse. The entrance is guarded. Do you attack? Of course. Hello. Well, that was rude. Uh, let's do that. Wow, am I just that bad? Okay, well, since, uh, since you're in melee combat, you're going to need to attack a little bit at least. Alright, so that goes down. Alright, let's take out these hellhounds. We all float down here. Such a good movie. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I liked I liked the uh the original it with Tim Curry. Tim Curry's been in so many ways. Wonderful acting jobs. Get those hellhounds! How 
Hellhounds can see me. Oh, wait, I think Hellhounds can see invisible things. Which is a. I never knew what a Margoyle was. I was someone like, if it's a gargoyle, why not just call it a gargoyle? Yeah, we'll use arrows on this because I think the Margoyles do get multiple attacks. Let's not get too... Aha! Let's just aim at that. Ah, oh, man. Go oh, well. Take out that Hellhound if possible. No more breathing fire, if you please. Ah, boo, no back attack. That's fine. Alright, take out Hellhound. Ooh. Ooh, Coos. Coos with the murder death killing uh, with his short sword. Like, chicka 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 Sounds of battle have brought another Rasha Shisha and retinue. He calls out, So, Urusha, uh, stooping to robbing the clan. No humans that if you bring me his head, you'll be forgiven. Otherwise, you shall be tonight's main dish. This is the promise of Birnia. Birnia. What do you? Who do you attack? Uh, you know what? We want a warehouse. Let's do it. You're old fools, but we will thank you at <sighs> dinner. <laughs> more things. So, fireball won't work. Uh, honestly, we can do this without spells. It'll just be a bit. It'll just take a bit longer. Let's go and take out the stuff on the edges and then work from there. Or actually, yeah. Edges and work from there. Fortunately, you're in melee, Presto, so we gotta get you back to equipped up. Now, if we had Ice Storm, which you do. Yeah, this should be good. Trying to punch me. Whoa, 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 Tertia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No spells. At least of that variety. Nothing yet could really hurt us. Bowser. Well, goodbye, Russia. Uh, nah, we're not gonna let our mages get into melee. That's a little bit too dangerous. Um, let's go ahead and use some magic missile. Actually, no. We can use the bow. We have, we have quite a few arrows. Once we get down to maybe a hundred-ish arrows, then we'll, uh, we'll consider limiting it. Can you please be careful with where you're shooting the lightning? Smoking tigers, yeah. Dear mother of lords, what are you doing? What? <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, one more of those. 
and I don't care. I will end you. No. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Where's my spray? Where's my spray? Bad kitty. Bad kitty. No. No lightning bolt. No. All right. And especially at Coos, Coos will find a way to murder you at some point. You are basically on Coos's blacklist, and you are you are not long for this world. I'm sorry. Um, I have said kitty a couple of times because, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Rakshasha that is accompanying us cast a lightning bolt, uh, basically at our party and hit Coos. And what are you? You are the dumbest cat. Um... Surrenders, that's smart. First year runs into the storehouse. He runs out a moment later with some papers. This proves his cheating. Make what you wish from the storehouse. Good day. As Coop says, Coop, let's meet around the corner, buddy. I want to take take a look at your proof. Oh, he moves quickly away before you can stop him. Oh, Coop's like, he's a dead kitty. He's a dead kitty. Next time I see him... Dead, dead cat. Yeah, that tiger guy. Still within this uh, building's large array of foodstuffs, clothing, and trinkets. And eventually we find some. A hammer and a long sword. Uh, I guess put this way. You know what? We're gonna do it the uh, the dirty way. We're doing it the dirty way. Which is, all right, we have a longsword plus three with five and a d8 plus nine. This is six and a d8 plus six, so it's a plus two longsword. We'll give that to, I think, who? What you got? A longsword plus one. So this should give us a d8 plus seven and an eight. All right, cool. So the longsword plus one, that is the flame tongue. Let's give that to Aratus. Aratus, you can just uh, drop your regular one because it's true. Because that's the kind of adventure is weird. Um, and let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, the hammer. All right. It wasn't cursed, so the hammer. So right now we're looking at 11 and a d6 plus 5. And that's 13 and then, yeah, so that is junk. That is just, just going to drop that. Or actually, I wonder if it's one of those throw hammers. Eh. Oh, well, bye. We don't care. All right. Let's go ahead and save. And then I'm going to do the thing that is a slightly broken. Well, not not that broken. So just a little. Let's do... Feeble mind. All right, cool. Confronts you. Parlay. Haughty. At least you stand out for yourselves. You're free to go. For now. I'm going to need to get my uh, smoking jacket. And by get my, I mean get A. <laughs> Patrol advances towards you. 
and Coos goes, Aunty! He knows how to speak to these folks. And he also goes, by the way, you know this guy named uh, Tertia? We're, we're looking for him. No reason. Ching, ching. Sharpening the sword. He's ahead, you see a man running, near exhaustion, chased by a pack of hellhounds. Men doubles and claps. Go to the rescue. Pool says, of course! these fights where it's not like an insta-kill in melee combat, I might have Presto go up to fight just to save the arrows, because those are, with his plus, well, he has enough. He has a lot of arrows. We'll keep them in there. Alrighty, so. Big bada boom kitty, or hound. Alright. Well, you're in melee combat now, so you gotta... Ooh, I wonder if this'll work. Let's see. I guess so. Even though it's Flame Tongue, it doesn't, like, I guess, uh, do anything to their uh, damage. All right, that was easy. The man thanks you and whispers, I managed... To hide it before I was captured. The ruined building in the northeast. Your oh. his breathing stops. All right, building in the northeast. Got it. And uh, sorry, friend. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. As you step into this opulent room, you see several male rakshashishas gambling with dice. Female rakshashishas. Lounge around on pillows. Argoyles are watching the game intently. They notice you and only now slowly rise to their feet. Do you flee? Who says, I don't know if any of them are tertia, but they're all tertias to me. Get them! Uh, this is, yeah. Uh, we're doing, yeah, the second edition with the Gold Box Companion, which, um, so, uh, the, uh, in, uh, first and second edition, depending on what race you were, you had level caps, basically, <clears throat> and, unless you were human, because, um, but the Gold Box Companion removes those restrictions, so you can level up, you know, to max level, basically. Um, even if you're not human, which honestly, it's it's a modern convenience. I did play back in the day when I first had the game. I did start off with like, you know, mixed race parties, but by Silver Blades, I transferred all of them out and made them all human because basically they couldn't get up to any higher levels. Essentially, the the el like the elves, the dwarves, unless they were a thief, they were capped and they couldn't do anything else. So. We're actually just about to hit the level max for Curse of uh, Azure Pool, or Curse of the Azure Bonds. Um, but uh, I think some of our characters are actually at the level cap. All right, so unfortunately, I don't want to be near Actually, it might be better if I do that. Hey, Geneva, how's it going? Two Tonys needs to get some sleep. It's already late. I'd stay up later, but feel the lack of sleep from last night. Final battles go well, and that you're able to start uh, Silver Blades. I should be doing that, if not tomorrow, then by next Friday. I'm hoping by tomorrow, though. Uh, let me give a shout out to the amazing Geneva. And actually, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. Neva Lee. 
There we go. What is this? Wow. Wow, that was a hit. That was truly a hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, actually, we're all going to cast some um, Globes of Invulnerability. Except you don't have it. So we're going to move you way back. So you should be out of range of most of their spells. Earliest streaming days. Forgot you used to play Fall Guys. Uh, I've actually, uh, yeah, I've never played it. Oh, you fool. Oh my gosh, they are taking coups out real hard. Oh my gosh. I thought he was out of range of that. Oh, you son of a mother friender. All right. Well, let's go. All right. Fully but surely working through the Rakushishishisha crowd. Let's, uh, let's use this potion of extra healing because, yeah, he's getting low on hit points. They are definitely focusing on the coups. They do not like his face. They probably heard about how he is like, ow, ow. Well, at least that happened. Oh my gosh. They probably heard about his blood feud with uh, Tertia. So how has your weekend been, Geneva? I love how the cats pun. No, it is not music from the game. Okay, that is not good. Uh, you should be taking it easy. The easier, the better. Um, so let's go ahead and try to target that mother friender right back there. All right, and I think we got all the Rakshashas, so they can't cast this round at least. Yeah, today was very good. Uh, I mainly spent it um, uh, writing up the campaign notes for my streamer game. Uh, my streamer D and D game. Uh, the cat reminds me of Pierre from the kids' book about the kid who gets eaten by a lion. Um, yeah, that is. Uh, we're we're going into the heart of the lion's den, as it were, and you must heal yourself because you are about to die. Okay, so let's see. Get that sucker. Get this sucker. Get that sucker. Good. All the cats have been got, except for you. Uh -oh. oh no. Okay, one cat has not been got. Uh, I'm gonna just back away. Use another one. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, the group I'm uh, DMing for is, uh, Fit. Um, oh, 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 my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can. Can I sh this off? Let me see. Let's see. I will need to add a... Yeah. Random browsing. No. Yeah, we'll do. 
Sure, why not? We'll just make it like this. Because reasons. There we go. <laughs> Maurice Sendak. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, I recognize the name. Where do I recognize it from? That's how I recognize it. Awesome. Um, but I love uh, Second Edition and Pathfinder. Um, those are much more my typical speed as far as D&D goes. But, uh, but yeah. I, I mean, yeah, you play what the players want. Alrighty. Anyways, fun times. Yeah, the art style looks very familiar as well. Alrighty, so. Eh. Exit out. Exit out! Alright. How did I miss? No! Well, who was basically stuck there? I missed you, Geneva. Hookswitch Pearson Heresy. I read where the wild things are as a kid. I liked it, but it did not completely blow my mind. Um, loved where the sidewalk ends. Golly, that sounds so familiar. I should know it, but... I'm not remembering it properly. Oh my gosh, how am I missing everything? Oh gosh, you're all blocking his way. Except now, haha! Tables are turned. Backstab. All right. Head and get that staff sling equipped. Start working on these guys. Target you. Oh gosh, you need to hit this. Presto, you need to hit. Yes, good job. Good job, Presto. You son of a goose! Bad. Well, it mainly has to do with the fact that these guys have been raining down lightning and horribleness all freaking day. And that's just not cool. All right, I need to catch up. Uh, Jell Silverstein is love. And I'm glad you've returned with dinner, Cuckwolf. One of the fave Silverstein lines, um, all the woulda, shoulda, couldas ran away from one little did. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get that sense. Don't bring geese into this. What? Late. Too late. We're honk flapping here. We are honk flapping. I will bring geese into this. Ah. 
You know what? I I have a better chance to hit with the short bow. Long sword. The short bow. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yep, 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 yep. And that Margoil is just basically like, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, can you hit? All right, kill that. Thank you, Presto. Hit that. Hit it. All you got to do is hit it. All right, well, while you all are doing that, I'm just going to finish off this Margoil in the corner because I just don't like the look of this guy. All right, good. Holy moly. Gather the valuables. Oh, a magic user scroll. Well, yes, we will definitely be taking that. Yeah. All right. Don't want to. It's a power far beyond. Oh, gosh. Canadian geese. I'm sure they are. Very much no bueno. All right, and yes. Double up and deep. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything memorized and hope we do not get attacked. And Radish, you're going to cast one of those confusions because apparently you did not have any. Um, go and then Ice Storm for good measure. Right, magic Missile. Good. Ice Storm. Minor Globe and. Confusion, and then hold monster. All right, click save. Try to rest. No, patrol, Ati. Yeah, we're all in here with a pile of dead uh, Rakshashas and all that stuff. Do I have to rememorize? Oh god. Um, okay, so that would be an Ice Storm, Minor Globe, and Confusion, and Hold Monster. And then for you, that is a Minor Globe, Ice Storm, Hold Monster. Should be the same thing. Also, Sama, did you memorize your stuff? Oh. Getting there. All right, let's save it and try to rest. Uh, we're trying to rest here, good people, good, good folks. All right, do we memorize our stuff? Not quite. Still working on it. Still working on it. Oh my god! All right, actually, wait a second. Um, you have confusion, and you're memorizing. What do you have? Confusion and Ice Storm. You need to do the Minor Glow. Yes. All right, let's try to rest. Oh my gosh, can you leave us be for just a bit? Just a bit, people. What do you have? Confusion, Ice Storm. So you need to do Minor Glow. And then, Sammy, you memorized your stuff, right? Yes, yes, we, we can stand up for ourselves. Are we done memorizing at least? Almost. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to rest here, but at least we got all of our spells. 
Um, let's go ahead and try to go to the yes. Can we try to rest here? Wait a second. Uh try to rest in this room. With all the bodies. Alright. Yes. Alright, good. Alright, that's great. I'm okay with that. I'd rather rest with bodies than, like, wake up every, like, 30 minutes because of a patrol going, uh, hello. What are, uh, you doing here? I need to get my smoking jacket. That's what I need to do. Roll advances and we will let Coobs be haughty as usual. Not uncommon for, for him to be just the most haughty of haughtiers. Nameless slides out of the shadow. This direct approach is dangerous, but the temple is to the north. Now get on with it! Okay, sheesh, nameless guy. And you're supposed to go like, wait, who's nameless? But if you've read the books and whatnot, you, you know who he is. Abrakshashashasha resides here in splendor. Well, we're gonna be abusive. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Well then, Hooves, just because you hate every single uh, every single Rakshasha, because you got lightning bolted by one, doesn't mean you go insulting every single one, because now we're, now we're in fights. And they're all going after Coobs. It kind of makes sense, because he is the one that insulted them in the first place. No! Now Presto can't get his protection up. Oh well. Might be a little mistake, yeah. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do a bum, 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 bum. let's just do a fireball centered on me because. You've been attacked this time, right? Yeah. Suckers. Ouch. Ouch. I can do this all day, buddies. All right. Let's do an... Um... Let's just do a... Lightning Bolt. And the reason why I'm not casting anything on the uh, Rakshashas is because they are immune to attack magic. And it sucks. You're done. You're done. Great. Cool. Right. 
hate their low AC. I hate their low AC. Ow, you son of a gun. Yeah, keep on doing it at Erratus. He can take those all freaking down. All right, that's one down. One more guy down. That sucked, but that needed to happen in a fashion. Let's see if we can kill that. Ouch. 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 Son of a goose! Yeah, I know. I I am I am well aware of the uh I am I am aware of the danger. <laughs> All this because Coos had to go picking a fight. Let's hope that Well, they're getting desperate in their spells. Let's grab that guy. Good. Let me just do this for a second. Can we get him? Almost. Backs down. Actually, wait a second. Do this. Yes. And then we will do this. Oh. Alright, almost done. We just need one more good backstab. Ah, boo. See if this works. Nope. All right, that's fine. This is fine. All right. I'm being a little bit risque because I was trying. I was trying to finish this off fancily. Okay. I wanted to do it with an ultra huge backstab, but whatever. Anything in this opulent place? Nope. No, 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 no. I knew you weren't trying to uh, backseat. I'm sorry. I realized right when I said it, I'm like, I phrased that incorrectly. I'm sorry, Cuth. I was also panicking. <laughs> I was like, I, I have made a, I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cuff. No, I knew you weren't trying to backseat. <laughs> As the whole party 
turns to Coos and says, What? One of them probably was Tertia, but if not, I'll I'll get him. <laughs> oh, he has such the blood feud with uh, Tertia now. Oh, well. All right, so let's see. You did a lightning bolt and a fur ball along with minor globe. Then you did uh, two magic missiles. And then minor globe. You didn't do anything, and you had a cure critical. All right, let's save and then try the rest. Oh, wow. Can we maybe do a little bit of the fixing? We can. Yay! I don't know what did it, but I guess we're done with maybe random encounters. We have killed a lot of the Ruxha Sheshashas. All right, so there's a temple. Is it this way? You're heading towards a large ruined temple. You continue. Not yet. Gosh, I'm glad I don't have to stress about my 18th level prepared caster in the campaign I played in. That was a lot of work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll be getting up there in levels. All right, let's continue. A dreamlike voice in your head says, great danger lies before you. Be fully prepared. You can't leave once you, I mean, be fully prepared. So basically this is it. Let's go. As you enter, you hear a voice. Finally, you've come. Step forward. Unable to control yourself. Oh, by fully prepared. Whoops, 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 whoops. Apparently, me and the game had different meanings of fully prepared. I'll fix it. Fix it. Una momento. Only enter if you're fully prepared. I think we're ready. Let's do this. Little did he know he was not fully prepared. It's just another spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, at 18th level. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna have to find it at some point, but I had a literal spell book. Like I had a binder with all the spells and I wrote the spells out as in the name, the, um, the, the duration, the targets. All that stuff, I hand wrote it in, in a binder and made it my spell book. So when other people were having to flip through their stuff, like, oh, what, what spell do we want to cast? It's like, I knew what I wanted to do because writing it out helped me memorize the spells. Boop, 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 firebrand. Boop, 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 Elminster's Effulient Epulsion. <laughs> I'm a lefty with arthritis in my hands. Handwriting a whole still book isn't a good thing for me. I get you. I am a lefty who can, who basically after four or five minutes of writing now, I'm like, ah, oh, oof, sucks. Like I used to be able to write a lot longer and now, I do. But it's okay because I got this book. He's so good right now. He's so good right now. And he's angry. He goes, bork, 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 Oh, yeah, I know. I've seen the uh, spell cards. Uh, you know, the literal spell cards. I just, it, this was way, way long ago. Um, before they even thought of such a thing. They had, like, the index cards for the monsters. I don't know if you remember those. Like, the little, like, um, the the three by fives that had the hole punches and the, the pictures on the front and then on the back had like their stats and effects and stuff like that. Um, Lefties rise up, woo! The amount of handwriting people used to do kind of blows my mind. 50 years ago, a nice extroverted family might have 50 cards to write. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Oof. All right. Enough delaying. Let's get it going. All right, so blessing. I play online, so put all the spells into a Google Doc. That's a nice way for it. Protection of evil. Let's do that on good. Do that on press. Then you got a shield. Mirror image. Do some hastings. Do a fur shield of the hot variety. Mirror image. Shield. Oh, I don't have invisibility 10 foot radius. Oh, I forgot to memorize that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Invisibility is overrated anyways. Until you get improved invisibility. All right. Save A and let's do this. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, I don't know how much time I'll have for all the games when you start working. Have a job interview on Friday. Ooh, what uh, what job? What kind of job? All right. <clears throat> all right. Uh, now that we are uh, fully prepared, as you enter, I you hear a voice. But you have come. Step forward. Unable to control yourself, you step forward into the center of the room. Through the bonds you are mine to control. Follow me. A public admin position. Ali, awesome. Good luck indeed. I'm so glad this doesn't take up time. Otherwise, our spells would mostly be gone now. Tyrion Thraxis makes his um, evil overlord's feet in journal entry number 48. Ah, it's only half a page. Okay. You have done well, my friends. The three artifacts that can do me harm are now in my possession. More important, the bond you wear can act as the pool of radiance does. With them, I can transfer it into any of your bodies and use it for as long as I need. Then, when the body is killed, I can transfer through the bond back to the pool or to another one of your bodies. I must thank you for the great freedom you've afforded me. Now, come along and dispose of this dangerous object. Uh, last campaign I was in, I had three spreadsheets. Oh, one for characters and mercenaries, one for characters you own, and then one for equipment and spells. What, uh, what game was that? A uh, system and the like. And your toys over to my priest. The party hands over the three artifacts, though they resist with all their might. Now, priest, dispose of these unpleasant items through the pool. The priest moves with great flourish and gracefully arcs each artifact into the pool, which swirls for a moment. The items are gone. I even have a parchment with the phrase to release of your bonds. In case anything went wrong, he hands the parchment over to the priest. Dispose of this through the pool. Basic D&D &D with some retros. Awesome. The game with the music and the voice. It's so cinematic. Yeah, this is pretty much it. You bonded ones come with me. It is time to complete the final spell. The priest throws back his hood, revealing himself as nameless. He yells, it won't be that easy. He tosses the artifacts back to you. A pitiful attempt. You gain nothing but a swift death. He strikes Nameless down with a single blow. With his last breath, Nameless mouths the meaningless phrase on the parchment. Body feels the bond's controls fade, but Ferenthraxus' sigils does not go away. Ferenthraxus smiles. Only I can remove those bonds. Soon you will be mine again. As the party retrieves artifacts, Ferenthraxus looks afraid. Kill them, my pets! He then rushes off. A tremendous noise is heard from outside. Some of Territhraxus' forces go to protect the temple. Minions of Territhraxus rush to, uh, to thwart you. All right, well, 
I don't think this is it, unfortunately. I think we have to do a chase, so we prepared everything. Oh god, I hope this is more like a combat wave thing. But we'll see. Let's just deal away with this evil high priest. All right, let's do that. And then a little bit of that. And then a little bit of that. As Presto goes boom, boom, bam, boom, bam. Chase. Here goes our spells. Minions of Terranthraxus rush to attack you. Dang it. Just rush to well dang it all right well we're not gonna have any spells prepped for or be able to prepared have prepared for the final fight unfortunately but do what we can Jim, how's it going? All right, let's go into. I will give you a shout out after this fight. Unless there's any mods about, you can do that. I'm sorry, I know. Back hurts, but otherwise going great. Thank you, Tiger Lizzie. He's like, he's like, yeah, this is fun, man. This is what gaming's all about. Just getting together as a bunch of guys and just like, you this know, must... whether you're killing stuff or just or just troubling you. Just together clicking buttons. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great, I love it. This <laughs> must be <laughs> such an old clip because this is Pre, yeah. like 20 cameras going on and all that sort of stuff because RGM uh, has like a, a really awesome camera setup now yes a cut wolf the hero that we deserve oh no dang it failed the backstab boo Yeah, like it, like there's like one from like over there, like if, if you could, like it would be like over there in my room hanging up there, and I got, there'd be one over there kind of showing everything off over here, and then you got the camera there, then you got a camera there, like four or five cameras at least. It's amazing. The kind of immersive gaming experience that we deserve. Yep, we're going up. I'm just wandering and rushing throughout here. If I'm the hero that you deserve, you must be 
wasn't be behaving very nicely. Oh, 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 wait, what? Oh, just three of these things. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We got this. Oh, it up. Uh, what am I holding? Oh, that. Potion. This whole time I was holding on to a potion. Too. Clear tonight is special Quake uh, 1 BR with special gun cam on rifle. Sweet. I am excited to see that. Um, I hope I can make it because, uh, so at, starting in about an hour and a half, my roommate is going to be starting his stream uh, discussing uh, horror movies and the like, so I have to basically not be on the internet during that time um, because, you know, streaming does take up a lot of bandwidth and the like. Um, oh my gosh, can't reach. Well, let's see. Ah, missed. But yeah, I will do definitely do my best. And right now it is 5.17, my time. Wake, the fight for justice! All right, just need to take out those priests. One down. I mean, you say that, but I would like to come if I can. Oh, how did you miss a backstab? Come on, Coos, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> all right, all the priests are down. Now it's just a matter of cleanup duty. Nice. There we go. Ah, dang it. I thought that was already attacked. Oh, well, that's fine. And dead. Nice. And, well, not quite dead yet. I'll wait one, two, back. Nope, we're just rushing for where we hope to find the boss. Oh, there you are. The power of your bonds has returned. Gravel at my feet this instant. Your body begins to bow down. With a great force of will, you overcome the compulsion. So be it. Here is your destiny. Ground to dust beneath my feet. He scowls. That amulet will let you scratch me, but it is far from enough to defeat me. For my greater glory, let your lives be forfeit. Well, hello, friends. Friends? Wow, that's a lot of friends. That's a lot, lot of friends. A lot, lot of friends. All right. Well, bring invisibility. Time to do your mission. All right. And before we get too far into this, let's uh, use potion speed. All right, so what do you got? Uh, we are going to go ahead and equip that potion of giant strength. Yup. And then let's do some damage. And you hit Sama, you son of a mother frick! Oh, you son of a friender! Where the heck? Okay, well. Alright. Let's, um. That was not good. 
Let's three. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. No. Oh. Of course, Tyrion Thraxxus is immune to the, uh, to the things. No, not Vera! Crap! All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine, because at least we have one fireball going off that will disrupt one spell. And that's all we need. Do it! So, what can you do? You can use a necklace of missiles, which, uh, how far can that go? Can that reach? Oh, I want. Eh, that should be good. Son of a friend. Um, okay. So. Let's do... There's no real easy way to do this. What spells... Uh, what wands, I mean. Nothing really good. Um, you know what game this makes you think of? Uh, Top Down Catacombs 3D? I have not... Let's just make some people go a little bit matty. Yep. Screenshot? Yeah, link it, please. That'd be good. Uh, I don't know the range. I'd rather be safe than sorry, though, and not hit any of my people. Oh, yes. Tyrant Thraxis, welcome to the confusion land. All right, so let me do. Okay, let's do a fireball. Oh, nice. I'm okay with that. So. Hit you. Um. Hit all of you. And get him though. Okay. And you will need to just use your I think I can still hit everyone with this. Alright. I think this should do it. Get 
you with it, and hit you with it, and then cross fingers. All right, one out of two ain't bad. No! Oh no! This is exactly almost what happened in the last thing. Oh no! Ah, oh, dang. Well, bye, Sama. We're gonna see how far we can get. You think the music is louder? Okay. All right, turning it down a bit. And it's kind of sad because in the in the first pool of radiance. Uh, at the end boss, Sama also got insta gived Like, before she could really even do anything, so. Okay, you can hear me now? All right. Um, also, Tiger Lizzie, if you're still here, can you give a shout out to, uh, to, uh, to Monique? I really hope it shows a particular clip. I really, really hope it does. Because that would make my day slash evening. Uh, it is going okay. Oh, good job, Terran Thrax is on our side. Go thank you, hold your family. <laughs> so, funnily enough, that is not the first Fall Guys clip we've gotten today. No! Oh god. Ow. Wow. It's kind of funny, but I think we've just brought Terran Thraxis over to our side. Ah. Terran Thraxis help us. Oh my gosh, that's that's kind of all sorts of hilarious. That is all sorts of hilarious right here. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, got a lot of experience. We don't need any of the treasure. Theranthrax's spirit coalesces over this slain storm giant. You've defeated me, but not for the amulet of Lathanda. Misspelled. Sess you and rob you of your victory. Still, I can escape through the pool. As you reach for the pull of as his radiance, he cries out, Keep the gauntlet of Miranda away from there! You unleash dangerous enemies, stay back! As the gauntlet contacts the pool, it contracts and shatters it. I'm trapped without escape! You succeeded where armies have not! Gloat while you may, Tyranthraxus is slain this day! Before your eyes, he crumbles into nothing now. You're certain he's destroyed because your final bond fades away. The curse of the Azure Bonds has finally been lifted. You are free at last. The Knights of Mithran are Russian. Congratulations, you've destroyed the Flamed One. With the power of Elminster, let us take you from this foul place and to a fine feast. You're teleported to Shadowdale, where festivities have already begun. A huge cheer goes up at your arrival. Gary and Asashia, arm in arm, yell, congratulations, from the nearby stands. You have won. A winner is you. As Pool Cues and Press to go, uh, you know, this is great and all, but uh, we got some friends who are would love to eat as well. By the way, hey, uh, Gorilla, 
How's it going? Uh, so I confused him. I cast Confusion on him, and I lucked into basically him becoming our temporary ally, ally for the fight. So that's basically, that's almost, so if you watch the clip of the first, of how I ended the first boss battle, basically I I got super lucky and I one-shotted him, even after he one-shotted Sama. So, oh, hey, we're all back. We're all back. Hey, oh, goodness. Thank you for the hundred uh, doggo treats, uh, gorilla. I will make sure that they go to pod. Um, and OFC Elminster just watched from behind. Yeah. Let me see. Hey, that's actually really good. Sama did not lose a, uh, a con point for getting rezzed. Because in second edition and earlier ones, uh, yeah, you would permanently lose a con point if you died and got resurrected. So that's awesome. Yay. Well, we did it. We did it. We saved the day. Now. Hey, Pern, how's it going? You, um... We just beat Full of Radiance. We did it. Uh, and can we get a shout out for uh, Earn? And I think uh, Gorilla, you're a streamer too, right? I'm sorry. I'm my brain is a little bit blah. I need more drinks. Yes, this is uh, th this was the end. This was the end. It was uh, the last hurrah. Mm-hmm. Fancy Star 4. Fancy Star Love. I love Fancy Star. That is my fave RPG series. Next to the gold boxes. <laughs> so, what I have to do now is, in order to uh, transport these folks properly, I stream sometimes but slacking. Life happens. It's okay. Like, honestly, there are some days where I'm like, I really don't want to stream, but I want to because I so much. What game is this? Whoa, what game is this? This looks really interesting. Whoa. Look neat. State of Decay 2? Nice. So... All right, I do have to do one quick thing to make it fair. So if I, uh, I need to 18. Alrighty. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what we agreed to. 1800. Uh oh. Alright. Well, dang. That broke. How about this? Sorry, I'm trying to fix things. And apparently I broke them, because that's what I'm good at. All right, what about this? Okay. Oh well, that sucks. Oh, get some food, good, good. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, basically uh, I have it set up so whenever I do a shout out, it pulls a random clip that you have. Monique has one. Okay, I'm just going to link it. Or you know what? We'll, we'll just play it. Um, so first off, what I'm going to do is I have to remove each of the people from the party in order to transfer them properly to Secret of the Silver Blades. Um, so we're actually going to go do a little bit of Secret of the Silver Blades. Um, just like the intro stuff and things like that. Um, 
So exit. And uh, yeah, Monique, if you're still here, I think you know the clip I'm about to play. I, I think it deserves a bit. Shout out. Ah, dang it. Okay, let me see if I can get this done correctly. All right. I just want to show off this one because it's it deserves so many viewings. So I don't know if uh, Presto or Video Game Pizza. Well, Video Game Pizza. I think Video Game Pizza. I got to I got to show it off. Got to show it off. It makes me happy. So she got. Well, I'll just. <laughs> That just, like, I was having a really bad day yesterday, so I watched that several times to kind of get my mind and attitude back up hyper. Um, but yeah, uh, she hit a, um, a goal, and uh, basically she did a Raven cosplay for the stream, and that was so amazing, and I loved it. And in case anyone else is having, you know, a no buenos day, and stuff like that. I will link the link in chat. Yes, your clip is famous. It should be even more famous. Raven. Let me get the link. Go and share. Yep, there you go. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch most of the stream because I was busy doing other stuff. Yeah. It was nice. Oh my gosh! That'd be so amazing! Uh, are you thinking of doing like any community games? Like, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I would, I would uh, totally be down for that. My birthday is a very far way off, unfortunately, so I don't know if that's going to happen for me. So let's see. All right. I need to do a... Uh, import. Okay, though, that's, that's not helpful. All right, tutorial. How do I import people from Curse to Silver Blades, because there was a way that you got to do it in the old school ways, but this is not the old school ways. All right. Add them. Marbles, Among Us, Phasmo, Armello, and some fighting games. Oh yes, I do need to see the epic duel between um, Mon uh, Monique's Bla uh, Noel and uh, Pizza's uh, Gin. That will be the fight of the century. Everyone needs to be there for that. That'll be amazing. All right. So what I need to do is go to my folder. Where is the folder? Yes. Okay. So, and I need to go to my characters all right let me copy all of them Her. all right that should be good right 
wait a second. No way. I should not have to copy all that over. No way. Okay, it should just be these. All right, cool. I'm going to copy these. All right. Then we're going to go into Secret of the Silver Blades. All right. And then we're What we're going to do is, I'm going to start this up real quick. Because I need to do basically a quick start of the game. And I honestly should have done it. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Things went bad. Whoops. Things are, things are not going as planned. Oh, nope, everything's, everything's bad. Everything is bad. Uh, nope. Ah. And do we have the fancy people yet? Nope, I guess that's in pool. All right. Sure. Yes. Uh... I apologize. I'm trying to get everything up or yes. All right, cool. All right, so things should be appropriately fit. Oh no. Not one cream. I think so. Okay, cool. All right. So, that said and done, let's this. And we will do this. Okay. So, let's see if this works. Because if not, then uh, I'll have to spend the next stream. Okay, all right. Let me catch up to chat now. Um, epic duel with poles and drinking. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, Mac, Mac, Mac. Hello. Thank you for hosting the Pod Patrol. Let me give you a quick old shout out. Okay. Well, this way, Mac, Mac, Mac. He has one of the best voices, Counts better than me. Like and this is Harbinger. I it's basically a sci-fi Diablo happened, where you could take a either kind of a um, someone who uses like orbs to kind of enhance their abilities and like do either a radius that blasts out, or you kind of shoot fire things from your hand, or you can be like a standard marine that goes da 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 da, -da. or you can be a mech. So yes. Um, how do I get the bot lines to be read? That is, I don't know. I wish I could tell you my friend, uh, Geekling Geekette, which I'm going to give her another shout out, um, is the one who set up my whole thing, my whole setup. I was always weak for alcohol if I don't have food or water. Um, same. Oh my goodness, those are so pretty. Not just the minis, but the uh, fingernails. Yes, me and Geekette go a long ways back. About 20 or so years. So, 
Oh, S Walsh seven eighteen. Thank you so much for joining the Paw Patrol. Um, I promise this is not all we do. Uh, I'm actually loading up Secret of the Silver Blades because we just finished Curse of the Azure Bonds. 